and we're live. Hello and happy magical Monday. It is, it is Labor Day here in, um, in, well, everywhere in the United States. Um, so I hope you're having a really magical day. I'm coming to you live from Madeira Beach and we're doing a placation week where we're staying and do a work from work from the beach week so literally right there you have the nice peaceful calm beach of Madeira we're about one mile from St. John's Pass and I just wanted to you know share the beauty of this location with you today and you know come on it really is such a beautiful thing that you guys join me here on Mondays, whether it's live or hashtag replay. And, and really last week we hit over a thousand followers in Soul Circle. And so I really wanted to do something a little extra special this week to thank you. So I've declared September my give back month and I've got all kinds of things that I'm, I'm doing for that give back. And the first one is to just do a couple extra lives this week. Um, so I've set this up as a series. Um, each one is a standalone activity. And so if you don't make all of them, that's fine. But anybody who um, hits hashtag, um, hi, hi, Erica. Anybody who um, hits hashtag um, I'm in, or hashtag replay will on all three videos will be eligible for a prize that I'm giving at the end. So if you do get on all three videos, put hash, hashtag I'm in or hashtag replay so that we know that you are somehow watching these videos. So what we're calling this video series is back reboot camp back to the basics. And I want to talk about the astrology like I usually do. Um, and here we are um, in like quite an intense time. Um, as some of you may know, we did have a little bit of a hiccup here yesterday um, that we did have a break in here. Somebody, um, somebody was looking to get in it looked like it was an emergency, um, came in and used our bathroom. Um, we did have a little mix up where we couldn't find the kitty for a little while, but Joy is okay. We're okay. Everything's cleaned up. Door is fixed. Everything's, everything's good. So I don't want anybody to worry about us or allow yourself to think that we're not going to be um, perfectly fine and safe. Um, if, in fact, if anything, we lean into just a little bit more gratitude. Um, gratitude for what we have, gratitude for how good and wonderful we are, and so grateful for all that we have. And, and so that's one of the first things in my Back to the Basics list of things to talk about is when you start looking at even things that happen to you that are not ideal, getting to the point where you don't let them mess you up getting to the point where you don't say, oh, this happened to me, and it becomes a story. And so when something bad happens to you, step one, let it go. Recognize once it's over what, what you got out of it. For us, it was um, a sense of how lucky we are in just every area of our lives. So just remember, um, gratitude will heal up multitude of of problems and and I don't mean for that to spiritually bypass something because we will get into that a little bit later on one of the later videos this week I'm not talking about spiritual bypassing I'm talking about recognizing your feelings but then giving yourself an opportunity to realize just how lucky you are that even things that could be quote unquote bad that happened to you are still really just something that happened. And I want you to remember in this back to the basics, anytime you're having something go wrong, 
look at how far you've come and look at how it really plays out in the scheme of things. If you were going to give it any more energy, thought, time, even talking about it much, is it going to perpetuate the problem more? Is it going to make you feel more like you're a victim? So you want to just like recognize um, that you're not a victim. Some things can happen to you, but you're not a victim. And you know, that was a huge lesson for me in my 20s. I, I really played the victim card hard when I was younger. And I felt like the universe owed me something. And, and I felt like there was, there was this piece of me that was maybe missing. And as soon as I started calling myself back to me and recognizing what, what was possible, that sort of went away. It, well, and now it is completely back to, I'm so grateful and thankful for my life. So as we're looking at the astrology this week, it is intense. So we are getting closer and closer to that full moon. And to do that, I wanna just kinda start with some sage, another back to the basic tool. So we're just lighting up some sage. I have this beautiful um, sage that has um, all these multicolors in it. And someone recently asked me, why do I use matches instead of lighters when I'm doing, doing these things? For me, it's just a connection to the wood. It's a connection um, to the element of fire itself. So a lot of times I feel like it's just a little bit more magical to play with the, play with the lighter or the matches instead of, of a lighter for my, um, for my lighting of items. So we are lighting the sage, and so I want you to put, put some of that emotion. If there's a negative emotion in the intensity, go ahead and place it in the smoke. So think about what would you put into the smoke? What do you wanna let go of? That's one of, my, one of my daily tools, is what do I wanna let go of? What do I wanna let, let go? How do I wanna let it go? keeping things lit here. Um, and so just place it into the smudge. And as you do that, imagine taking it around your neck and shoulders. We catch energy in our auric field. We catch it on our necks. We catch it in our hair. You know, we catch it um, on our backs. So make sure that you're actually, I always use the smudge around my hands. I'll use it around my feet. Um, I'll actually step up over it because we pick up things on our feet. Um, so just think about what am I actually letting go of and where am I holding energy in my auric field? Your auric field is actually three feet around you in every direction. And then it can even go a little bit further than that. Um, so I want you to imagine with this smoke, and now I'm just lighting some frankincense. So I want you to imagine what are you, what are you letting go of with these, with these tools? And so someone asked me how I use them and this is what I do is I just use it usually once or twice a day. I will, will light a little bit of sage. I will light a little bit of incense and I will basically cleanse my field. If it's bad in my house, I will actually walk clockwise through the house and sage the house. And I do that at least once a week, more often when it's intense. And I really like doing it on new moons, full moons, and astrological holidays. And so we have this full moon coming up. It's on Saturday. So if you're looking at the activation point, three days before the new moon and three days after the new moon, is this is the week. So we have starting now a manifestation period. You will be having Mercury going retrograde at the end of the week, which means it's already in shadow. That doesn't mean you can't manifest things. Uh, Mercury in retrograde this time is retrograde in Libra. So we're looking at those, um, the Mercury being in communication, and it's also going to be, since it's Libra, it's going to be about relationships. and 
a lot of you know that my philosophy is relationships are more than your love interest. It's your relationship with your house, your car, your money, your pets, your animals, your family members, your mother, your father, your children, your best friends, your coworkers, your boss. So what I want you to do for the next month, this is a really big, big key this month, is to be very cautious about how you communicate to the people you care about and the people who actually could be looking for a problem within you. So what, I, what do I mean about that is, I don't want you to say anything this week, next week, or for the next month that you can't take back or that could be misunderstood. So take a pause before you say anything. And that is, that is a good energy basic to have always, always. Not just here um, in reboot camp and not just during Mercury retrograde in Libra. It is always good to take a pause before you say anything. Could you take that back? Um, you may never be able to take back words, but you could choose a different way to say the exact same thing. Um, and I don't want you to be passive aggressive. I want you to just be understand that your words have power and right now that they could get misunderstood. So when you're typing something, reread it before you hit send. I expect that there's gonna be a lot of misunderstandings because of voice text or um, any kind of, of electronic changing. Um, so you really make sure that your spell check didn't change a word to something you really didn't mean that could be really misunderstood. So, so be really clear about how you're being understood and be really clear about all of your communications coming in and out and, and read something twice. And if, if you want to be proactive on your side, maybe ask them, is this what you really meant? Or can you define this a little bit more? I'm taking it not in the way that maybe you mean it to be. So give everybody a little bit of a benefit of the doubt. The fact is that you're going to have for most of October, most of October, seven planets in retrograde. It happens, it happens almost every year. But when you have this kind of intensity, it's a reboot camp. It is a time to revitalize. It is a time to look at what do you wanna be projecting into the world? It is a time for you to reflect, go in, see what it is you really want, see what it is you maybe already know to do but you're not doing. It's a good time to renew, make sure your paperwork is done. Um, it's a good time for renewals, re regeneration, revitalization. And so take care of, take care of the details. The um, magic's in the details. I used to say the devil's in the details. And I realize it's really the magic. The magic is in the details. It's the little things that really count right now. Um, so that is what I mean by the basics. Everything I'm going to be telling you in these three days are things you already know how to do, but need to be mindful of. So. I could probably even call this a mindfulness workshop because I want you to really think about leading an intentional life. So if you feel so inclined to do an exercise this week, your home home play or your or your home yes work would be to perhaps get out a journal or a couple of pieces of paper and get really, really intentional on what it is you're wanting to do. And what would it look like to do it imperfectly? What would it look like to just do it and, and let it be okay in its imperfection? What would it look like if you were, if you wanted to clean your house and, and completely Marie Kondo it? What would it look like if you just did 15 minutes a day? If you were wanting to um, create some exercise routine. What would it look like if you just started walking instead of joining the gym? Look at what you have been successful with over and over again and 
then stopped, fell out of. A lot of a lot of times right now we're blaming we're blaming the last two and two and three years. We're, we're looking at oh because of COVID or because of this was closed or that was done. And my answer is right now, this very specific period of time is a great day to reclaim anything you did that was really good for you. If you were taking vitamins and you stopped taking vitamins, now is the perfect time. It's Virgo season. So Virgo is all about your health. It's about organization. It's about processes. And so what kind of processes could you set up for yourself that would make you inevitably successful. And claiming that success, claim it for yourself. Not just acting as if, but really feeling into your heart, feeling into your, into your soul and realizing I've already come so far. I've already survived. And these things would set me up to be devoted to myself even more. I, I am committed to myself even more. We talk about committing in marriage. We talk about committing to a job. What are you committing to you? What is your sacred relationship to yourself? What is your sacred relationship to, um, instead of being comforted, sometimes we get into the comfort zone and, and I am all about self care, but I feel like in the last year, a lot of us have used self-care as an excuse to a certain extent to not do the really deep work or have a really deep practice in something that's uncomfortable. So when we're really stepping into our vibration, if you're really stepping into lead the magical life you want to lead, if you want to step into actually fulfilling what would make you feel better, it isn't about the comfort food. It isn't about the avoidance programs. And we all do it. I do it. Everybody does it. There is no shame. So the next thing I want to do is take the shame or, and the blame out of all your excuses. They're not excuses anymore. And now they get to be a opportunity of, oh, this was my self-care. And the new form of self-care is actually taking better care of myself. So instead of, okay, I don't have to do something because it's been stressful, I get to do something because I'm going to choose to release the stress in a new way. So that's how I kind of look at maybe taking a walk. Instead of saying, oh, I don't have to do that because it's been really stressful. No, I get to do that because it's been really stressful. So switching the script in your mind to the things that you have been doing whether that's overeating, grabbing fast food, whether that's been skipping your exercise program, whether that's been not doing something that you love, no, maybe you hate to do, but you know is good for you. Like maybe you haven't spent the money on vitamins because you know, vitamins could cost a hundred dollars a month. Now is the time to really say, but the vitamins support me. And, and ultimately the vitamins are gonna be less expensive than diabetes medicine would be in like five years. So what is it right now that is an active devotion and the basic acts that you have already known work for you? So, so these first few days, today's Monday, we're coming back on video on Wednesday and on Thursday. So today's assignment is getting out a journal and writing out what are your basics? What are what are the things that you know you are set you up for success? What are the things you already know set yourself up to feel physically, mentally, spiritually or or emotionally good? And identify cuz when you label something, when you when you actually look at it, and, and by the law of witness, look it right in the eye, it already starts changing. The magic happens the moment the decision is made. So the next step when making this little plan is making a decision on what is going to set you up for success, how to set yourself up for success. Because my idea of success isn't going to be the same as yours 
And what I do know is everybody has basics. Like for me, it's meditation in the mornings. For if, if I don't do that, I am not set up for the, for the day. For me, it's taking care of my um, emotional cleanse. And, and I think all of you are, are in that place too, where you want to cleanse your, cleanse yourself spiritually. Do that. For me, my basics are lighting a little frankincense every day, doing a sage, a very thorough sage for the house once a week, creating a magical grid on the new and full moon, lighting a candle and setting, setting deeper intentions on the full moon. So all of these things are just things I do that become a daily practice, but they, they, they didn't start out that way. So figure out what is going to set you up this week. And that, so that's, that's your home play yes work assignment for this, for this video. So I want to just kind of get into, uh, get comfortable in your body for a second. Um, I want to just do the basics of what would be an energy boost and an energy boost for me is actually to rub my hands together and actually imagine that the energy is coming through my crown this is a refill technique i am actually imagining refilling my body refilling my my nervous system resetting my chakras. So I'm going down my arms. I'm going down my legs. I'm going across my back. Literally imagining. And right now, even as I'm doing it, I've got goosebumps. So I want you to just imagine in your mind's eye that you are refilling. And, and I'm actually sending this energy to you wherever you are. Imagine that the water, the sparkly water energy is going through your field, through your energy field, into your nervous system, into your blood, into your bones, anywhere inside of you that is feeling physical pain, anywhere that's feeling emotional pain, anywhere that's feeling other people's stuff that is stuck. Imagine washing it away, cleansing it, removing it, and sending it down into the earth. The earth can use it. The earth will just make it into something else. It, you think of it as fertilizer. Your poo is fertilizer for the earth. So imagine just washing away, removing the feelings of stress and worry and pain and shame and perfectionism and anxiety and just sending them out of your body. And when you're refilling, I want you to refill yourself with things like, I am absolutely... 100% accepting myself exactly where I'm at. I'm absolutely 100% perfect already. And that is the baseline for any change you can make in the future is to accept and allow yourself to be good enough right here, right in this moment, exactly as you are now. And then take stock and then take charge and then take a moment and go so if i'm good enough i must also be deserving of treating myself like the god or goddess that i am would you invite someone over to the house you're living in maybe maybe you just feel too tired to clean it up for yourself but would you invite someone over so if that's the case would you now clean something up for you not for someone else clean something up to someplace you would be proud to be. If you're like, I don't want to do this project, but it would make me feel really, really good. I want you to do that. Do it because it would make you feel good to have it off of your list, taking up space. We have all these things called energy leaks and these energy leaks. I know you know them. It's unfinished emails. It's half painted walls. It's it's anything out there, a conversation you know you need to have, but maybe uncomfortable. Hi, everybody. Oh, look at all these hellos. Wow, some faces I haven't seen in a while. Hello, everybody. It's so nice to see you. 
And so, so today I want you to think about the fact that your life is completely possible to be any way you want it, any way you can dream it. And it may not happen in an instant, but if it does, it can shift in an instant. Your perspective can shift on a dime. It can turn around right here, right now. So let's go ahead and imagine, close your eyes. And this is one of my other basic practices. I want you to start with, I'm so grateful and thankful. Close your eyes, I'm so grateful and I am so thankful. And I want you to think of one thing you've manifested. So right now I'm thinking, I manifested this beach house for a week. So here I am working from the beach. Something I dream of is to live at the beach. And the more I dream of living at the beach, the more I, time I spend at the beach, the more real that becomes. So think about something you're grateful for and think about how you've manifested it and pulled it in. And now I want you to think about your life. Uh, uh, last week I saw a journal of mine from 2001 and it seemed really impossible this life I wanted to create this intentional life and the only thing I am not doing that was on that list is I'm not getting up every morning and doing yoga before I go to work um, and I'm working from home instead of going to a place which is even better so it may take a moment but I am actually leading the life I created so keep your eyes closed and I want you to imagine for a moment what are the details of a day a perfect day this is called the perfect day exercise which is one of the basics like I said I've done this exercise 21 years ago in 2001 and so I want you to imagine every detail what what's it look like to get up in the morning what do you want your life to look at by lunchtime? Who are you surrounding yourself with? What does the evening look like? What kind of food are you putting in your mouth? Where are you living? What kind of car are you driving? What kind of things are you doing in your free time? What is, what is your meaningful work or retirement look like day to day? What does your home look like? What does a day of normal productivity, whether that's work or creation or even just um, time for exercise and play if you're retired what does that look like and what does a day of rest like a vacation day where are you traveling and just imagine it in your mind's eye and take that same journal that we are are looking at for um, the other part of the exercise and write out a perfect day and I actually had two separate perfect days listed one for a work day and one for a day off and it's funny I had three places I wanted to travel and I had I have got to travel to all three of those places and more so we do actually create our own reality with our mind with our words with our speech with our our visualization with our energy so start speaking it into being start seeing it in your mind's eye as it is already done. Start saying things in a way that is calling them to you and start saying things in a way as if it is already done. So when you're writing these things, a perfect day or a journal or gratitude or a manifestation, always say, I'm so grateful and thankful this is in my life now. I am or I have, because those, those are powerful words. It's, it's how we create. So that's how i would love to see you play with this and i hope this has been useful and helpful i hope you're having a great holiday if you're if this is all of you that are live this is this is an amazing amount of you live i can't see all your names but i'll come back in a little bit and and say hi um for those of you that are watching we will put this up on youtube um, if you haven't noticed we do have a youtube channel that we Put these up on and so hashtag replay hit like subscribe and if you want to see these live maybe you are watching this as a replay on youtube or from the newsletter letter we will be going live on wednesday and thursday with with the next two steps of your of your energy reboot as my thank you and because there's a lot of thank yous right now 
we are creating some new, brand new meditations. So by the end of September, I'll be putting out new meditations for you to listen to. Um, we're on YouTube and Insight Timer with the meditations, but we've got brand new ones coming. And because this is yes, um, yes and thank you month, um, we did just put out a 20% discount to Witchy Weekend. So it's a little bit less expensive if you only come for two, two days, as well as we have the VIP four day um, big journey of Witchy Weekend. But all of it is 20% off right now. So, if, and we don't have that many rooms left. So if this is something you want, for Witchy Weekend, that is available right now as part of my Give Back Month. And also, I, I will see you on Wednesday and Thursday. Last but not least, if you are interested in the 9-9 activation, because this is a power week, so whether you are coming in or with us or not, 9-9 is the, is the portal to this, this reflection, renewal. 9-9 is, is all about this new new cycle we're coming into the equinox we'll have the balance energy coming so a nine and nine is almost like a yin and yang so we are balancing the masculine and feminine on friday we are going into a full moon so if you're interested in our our magic moons it's it's a very small small fee it's only like 88 dollars a month to do all of our our videos and our programs in which we manifest and we hold circle and we're witnessed and really amazing things are happening in in our magic moons circle so i'd love to see you join us for that and if not i will see you wednesday i love you so much one last time i'm so grateful for all of you this really isn't about me it's about all of you so please use the soul circle facebook group to share things, um, feel free to, to tell us what's happening in your life that's magical and, and share. It, the group is for, for you, not just for me, it's for all of us. And I'm grateful to have you as my soul family. I'm grateful to have you um, in my life um, and I'm grateful to serve you in any way I possibly can. So I love you, practice going back to basics, with your with your home play and be careful with your words be careful what you say what you don't say what you infer even what you type both both by email and by um and by by digital responses and i guess one last thing i want to say on that as it's coming through is it's also not good to not reply sometimes a no answer is an answer and so it can it can be taken the wrong way too. So if, if you if you are concerned um, and you're just waiting too long, don't wait too long to reply on something. Um, you could even use the, um, I'm thinking about this. Thank you for letting me know I'm thinking about this. I'll give you a more thorough answer later. But, but don't not reply because that could be taken um, in a bad way as well. It is going to be a very interesting month with all of these planets retrograde. And still, for me, I'm looking at the astrology for the whole rest of the year, and we've got eclipses coming, we've got a lot of powerful transits, and it is the perfect time to transform. It's the perfect time to take control of your life. It's the perfect time for you to be living more intentional, living more mindful, living more magically, and actually getting what you want from it. It, it's it's really a sweet 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 spot in the universe and so i love you and live magically